Here comes Misselbacher, so time served on one of those penalties. But the Aggies still down a man, Misselbacher. Comes after this one. Colorado State doing a good job of keeping it out of his grasp. Mitchell behind the net. Off the way again. Kerr ends up face down on the ice. No call. Hamilton with a look. No. Tried to come back and there was no one there. Ten seconds on the power play. Under a minute to play in the second period. Can the Aggies kill another penalty? And they have. Outstanding job shorthanded tonight by the Aggies. Gibbons takes a seat on the ice. See Gibbons get up ended. No yeah. sign of the referee, so the play will continue. Twenty seconds. Gibbons gets a little back. Here's Lim. Oh, offsides, McDonald. Gibbons going at it with another one of the rounds. It's Andrew Lord and Gibbons going after each other. Adrian Olson says that Gibbons took a poke at him. And so Lord went over after Gibbons. A little bit of rough stuff, but Gibbons seems to stay out of it. Both guys look toward the box. I'm going to guess two minutes each for roughing. And Gibbons is talking all the way to the box to Andrew Lord. And they're not talking about good places to eat in Logan. He joins Basson, who's still sitting in there. He may as well just stay in there. The way it's gone for him tonight. Ten seconds to play in the second period. Number one versus number two, and it's been a tight game, and it's gotten chippy here in the second. I think some of Utah State's frustration is they feel like they're taking the, an awful lot of pine time and uh, not seeing much doled out to the rounds. Yeah, the penalties so far have been pretty one-sided. The, uh, the referees obviously seen a few more infractions against the Aggies in the Colorado State rounds. Rams a little sneakier, huh? Must be. <laughs> and two minutes each. And again, we'll have eight on the ice. That's the end of the second period. The Aggies still hanging on to that one goal lead. 2-1 over Colorado State. You're watching the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. reasons I really enjoy banking at Lewiston State Bank is because I enjoy the friendly service. They know me by name, they know who I am, and they know what my business is, and that is very important to me. I've been banking at Lewiston State Bank for about nine years, and we love it. They know who I am. We are proud to have been serving our customers for over 100 years with personalized, friendly service. Please come in and meet your new friends at Lewiston State Bank. Valley Channel Game of the Week. Brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness. Never give up. Lewiston State Bank, your hometown bank. Wendy's of Cash Valley, you know when it's real. Yes, they need a jeweler's middle of the block, sign of the clock. The Cash Valley Specialty Hospital, you do have a choice in health care. ARS Flood and Fire Cleanup will fix your disaster. Allen can cycle through and get the puck. Magical Moon Toys, come check out our new location in North Logan. Import Auto, foreign and domestic auto repair. 
Lynn's audio and video. Cash Valley's audio and video specialist. The logo shop. We logo stuff. All kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's television station. Welcome back to the act. Getting ready to start the third and final period. Utah State hanging on to a one goal lead, 2 1. Eric Olson along with Bryce Kershaw and Bryce. Things getting chippy in that second period, especially in the last probably all seven minutes. And, you know, the hometown crowd feeling like maybe they're getting the short end of the penalty stick. Yeah, the two minute minors were definitely raining down in that second period. The Aggies coming out with a handful, and I think the Colorado State Rams only took about three or four. So a little bit, a uh, little bit differential in the uh, in the penalty department, but so far the Aggies are still on top, two to one. Well, the Aggies will be three men on the ice for the next minute and 50 seconds. Not too bad considering Colorado State will only have four on us. Andrew Lord in the penalty box. But as you and I were talking about uh, in the break, the Aggies, probably their two best players in Gibbons and Misselbacher are the guys in the box for, for Utah State. Yeah, both the goal scorers for the Aggies will be in the box for a little under two minutes, so the, uh, the defenders are going to have to step up and kill it off. So for about ten seconds, the Aggies will be two men down. But other than that, it'll be they'll be one down. That's exactly right. The players right now are just waiting for the ice to freeze so the puck doesn't stick when they skate with it. So play should get underway in a little over a minute. They had a they had a little thing here in the intermission. If anybody's ever wondered why they keep the pucks on ice, uh, d you know, during a game, and then they have to pull them out of the, the cooler and give them out there. Well, you keep them frozen so they don't bounce all over the place. And they had this little this little contest of the intermission and there was a company's little logo flag down there and everybody was chucking numbered pucks that they'd been holding for who knows how long, probably since before the game started. And they were bouncing all over the place and that was a very dramatic <laughs> representation of why you keep the puck frozen. That's exactly right, chuck a puck at the, uh, at the end of the second period put on by the Aggie Blue Booster Club for a little bit of a fundraiser, definitely something the fans come out for, it's a lot of fun. Person closest to the uh, to the center walks away with the prize. They didn't give us a puck. I think we could have hit it from up here. Ah, uh, we're a little bit farther away, but I heard you got a nice three pointer, so I'm sure you could have hit it. That's these huge arms. Just the guns of Navarone right here, baby, or something like that. I'm still waiting for it to get ready to be ready out here. They could have held this game outside tonight. With the ice and the snow, the first big one of the season. And now you're from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and so probably very similar to here. Absolutely. Uh, again, like you said, very similar to here. We're tucked right in the mountains. Uh, it gets a little colder in the wintertime, but Logan has the advantage when it comes to most snowfall. Anybody taking you skiing yet? Uh, not yet. No, hopefully I'll get down to Park City this year. Heard they got some great skiing, maybe even a Beaver Mountain, which is really close. Plenty of good skiing itself up there in uh, Calgary, isn't there? Yeah, right in uh, Banff, the Lake Louise area, which is about an hour and a half west of Calgary. Some uh, premier skiing such as there is in Utah. I'd love to go see Banff. Only seen pictures. Looks like my kind of place. A few more bears up there, though. It's a little scarier. <laughs> well, what's scary for the Aggies right now is Rams. There's one more of them than there are Aggies out there on the ice. Mullane makes the save, Ty Johns clears the puck. Kills a little bit of time off the clock for the Aggies. Well, Gibbons will have to sit for another 45 seconds. Misselbacher, 10 seconds behind him. One Aggie out, and two drop down in. Kind of zoning it up there, trying to keep it out of the net. Oh, Hamilton. Great diving, diving effort. This. You betcha. Sometimes you got to get dirty, or at least icy. And he does it there. Five seconds. 
for Gibbons to get back on the ice. He's itching to go. Mulane turns this one away. Here comes Gibbons. Andrew Lord back out for CSU. And the Aggies have successfully killed another penalty as Misselbacher back on. Outstanding job by Utah State tonight in that department. Here comes Gibbons. He's got Misselbacher skating with him. Gibbons tries to catch Steidler off guard. His shot wide. McDonald looks for Misselbacher, but it's intercepted by Stoltzberg. Little bit of a hit behind the play that you just saw. The Aggies will go on the power play here. Now they're going to get the call. Everybody to the right of me leap to their feet, <laughs> pointing down at that one. And the referee was right on top of it. That'll be two minutes for hitting from behind. See if the Aggies can, can continue their success on the power play. Eric Waring will sit. So the only other time, I believe it was only one other time, the Aggies have had the advantage they were able to score on. Yeah, fortunate enough to put the puck in the net. That beautiful feed that you saw from, uh, from Gibbons and Missile Walker being able to finish. They'll look for the same right now. The Aggies would like to give themselves a little bit of cushion. Number one against number two, if you're just joining us, the Aggies number one in their region, in the West region. Colorado State sitting in that second spot. And did you say ASU number three? Yeah, Arizona State University coming in at number three right now. Puck goes up over the glass, that's why there's a stoppage of play. Face-off's going to be to the glove side of Mullane. Misselbacher hacks it out of there. And here comes Gibbons. Sanders. Sends it around, McDonald at the blue line. Whistlebacher, Gibbons. That one kind of mishandled a little. Gibbons broke his stick on the play. He's looking for another one. Oh, Kerr had a look and a nice save by Steigler. You'll see Kerr standing in front of the net on the power play. He stands about six foot four off of skates. So he's definitely a big boy, someone you want to get in front of the net, cause a little commotion. And Gibbons has to get another stick. Those sticks, wood, sometimes aluminum are made out of, but mostly wood, right? Uh, in the olden days, they were wood. Actually, now they're made of composite material, so things like fiberglass and even Kevlar oh, are being put into the ones nowadays. So There you go. And they're usually a pretty penny, aren't they? Oh, oh absolutely. Nice ones. Yeah, they can run a price tag on the parents for sure. Uh, I think that was a little bit of a Academy Award performance out there by Olsen. A little bit of a dive there, but the referee wasn't buying it. <laughs> Aggies will stay on the, on the power play. That was almost soccer-like right there. That's heresy in a hockey game. Yeah, not to something you see often in this sport, but <laughs> guys, guys tr try and do anything they can to put their team up. That's the name of the game, competition, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Here comes Gibbons. Waits for his teammates to catch up. McDonald, left side shot right into the breadbasket of Steigler. Brendan McDonald out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, along with his teammate, Tyler Misselbacher, also out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. They're joined with Brian Gibbons, like we said before. He's out of Washington, D.C. They make up the first forward line. All you Canadians taking this place over. Yeah, we're about half and half on the team right now. I think we got 13 from up north and then 14 from the States. <laughs> 